Hello, my sexy senoritas and my handsome amigos. How are you today? I am going to try something out. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I finish. And I'm not going to tell you where I found it until I'm finished. I want to see if I can get it to work. And what I'm going to tell you right now is that it's going to be acrylic. I'm going to be using the colors white, violet, blue, copper, and brown. Now, the brands I can show you all except for the white because I don't want to give it away yet. So the colors that I just named are by Vallejo, Azul, Azul, and Traquinonia. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue <laughs> close to Prussian blue oh lord I crack myself up alright Holbein luminous violet <laughs> uh, Van Dyke brown hue and Holbein pearl copper alright let me straighten myself out here I think that I can calmly do this pour now and not laugh. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is pour my paint in the cup down the side of the cup. And for that, I am going to use, hmm, what row? I seem to have lost my smaller cups and I don't think that these cups are oh I can use this one here we'll use this one yeah we'll use this one okay love my vet they give these out for free of course I have six cats so I'm allowed to take six of them but do you see them being used for cat food no all right so first thing I want to do is put a little bit of the white in the bottom. Again, I'm going to pour right down the side of the cup. Then my brown. And I will be telling you how I mix the paints and all that. I just want to wait to see if this works. And this is a 12 by 16 canvas. Next up, the blue that I will not pronounce again. Copper, violet, this is my, f this violet for acrylic paint is just stunning. A little more white. And then I'm going to do one more round. Uh, blue was next, I believe. I hope. Copper. And violet. Yeah, I'll tap it off with a little bit of white. Why not? Okay, before I pour, I'm just going to set up my station over here to move it right away so that it could cure it in a flat spot. I forgot to do that. Sorry. Okay. So here we go. Um, yeah, right in the center.
All right. I'm going to put some white around it. And this is just paint splatter on my canvas. All right, a little bit more over here, just so that it's touching everywhere. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you see those magical things happening. This torch quick. And we're going to start tilting. So. Nice and slow. Maybe a little more weight. I think we need a little bit more weight. I'm going to come back to the center here. Add a little bit more white. I don't want to have to stretch it so much like that right away. Before you go in a different direction, pull it back into the center. It'll help keep everything, your structure and shape. Now I want to go this way, up to this corner. I'm going to go up this way. And I'm really going to start opening it up now.
I'm just trying to concentrate. I know you guys are used to me yapping my gums, flapping my gums, <laughs> yapping my gums. Come back one more time there. Let's put it down and assess what we have here. So you can see, we got a really nice cloudy effect going on. Cells are starting to come out all over the place. Just trying to get some of that center, this area over here, to open up a little bit more. Go right off the corner here. Come back down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the other station, put the rest of the white on my corners and bring you over there to see it and then start explaining myself. All right, I've taken another look at this and I've decided I want to stretch the center off. As you can see, you get a great cloud effect from this mixture, but I'm not liking the pinholes that I have in there. So I'm going to really stretch out this violet area with the blue to get rid of some of this. Or try to anyway. Sorry for the horrible view, guys. So now we're going to let that one sit over here. And then I have a little bit of paint left. Let's do one more quick one. Let's do a quickie, shall we? All right, now I have an 8 by 10 canvas. And we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take this brown cup, I'm going to add some white into it, and then 
the blue. The copper. The violet. And some more white. I'm going to, since I spilled white there already, I start with a little puddle in the center of white. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to end up losing all of that pretty violet. Okay. I'm going to put some white around it. Oh, what the heck is in my white? <laughs> oh, there's a stupid fly in here. I curse you with a thousand plagues, fly, go die. Let's have a little bit of brown, maybe, on the rim of my cup. It made that little line there. All right, here we go. Come down this way. Back to the center. Place your back down. I'm going to use the rest of this white up so I don't have to really force it to get to those edges. It'll have all this paint there. To help it go this way back to the center down this way back to the center my right back up to the center I feel like I'm doing the hokey pokey back there so go up this way back Get that little string off there. Little string of color is really throwing me off. You want to talk about cloudy? Wow. Doesn't get any cloudier than that. <laughs> it's nothing but cloud. Bring us right down here a little bit. All right. And that's where we stop. 
just take my finger, get that brown out of there. Check my sides and Man, I'm really dropping things here. Just want to go over that corner again. All right, let me clean up. You'll see the cells start appearing here. So, let me tell you what I've been doing. While I'm washing, wiping my hands and getting ready to show you. I was on YouTube this morning and a channel I had never heard of before popped up and boy was I happy because at one point in time I saw a video of somebody doing this. I can't remember who it was and I said I have to try that. So the person that popped up today showed a very, very thorough mixing of his colors and I was so happy that he did it. His name is Raphael and his channel is called Rad Acrylic. I'm going to link it below. That is my paint it forward shout out for this video. Go check him out. He shows you how to achieve the cloud effect using milk paint versus satin enamel. So this right here is made using milk paint and some type of a house paint you need. Now on hand, all I had was, well, you don't need house paint. That's his mixture and that's how he achieves it. You may be able to achieve it another way. I'm telling you what he did. He used house paint. Now, all I had on hand was this from Home Depot. So, I made a, a concoction, we'll call it. I put in a quarter cup of this to a quarter cup of this. And I mixed them together, added a little bit of water. Then I added in two, so a half a cup times two, so a cup of Floetrol. So it was one part house paint, one part milk paint, two parts Floetrol. If my math is off, don't shoot me but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So I mixed them all together. I put the, the flow trial in before I put the water in. Got it to the normal paint pouring consistency and that's what I used for my white in this. The other paints are mixed with one part paint. So it was a tablespoon of paint to three tablespoons of Floetrol and some water. There's no silicone or anything. <clears throat> this other painting, you could see the cells more on. This one was small. I used a lot, a lot of white, but sure as shit, it's the cloudy effect without the sand and enamel. So I was so happy because I did buy that milk paint. I bought four separate colors, so I'm excited to use them and try them out. And we'll see what happens from there. But anyway, that was my exciting news. I want you guys to go check him out. And uh, he has a very thorough video on the mixing process. Now, one thing I didn't do that he does is he also adds in a mixture of glue and water to help with crazing. My paints, I use the GAC 800. So we'll see if it cracks. This will, um, I'll show them with a bunch of other acrylic pours I've done recently that people want to see dry. 
So we'll see if it cracks with the GAC 800, but he also does um, glue all and water. So I'm going to link his video and his channel down below. Again, it's Rad Acrylic. Go check him out. And as for me, my friends, I am done. I have a cloudy pour here. I'm going to show you the other one really quick. So here's the other one. I really stretched those cells out, but they were beautiful at one point. So it definitely does work. All right, so that's that one. And here is this one. We'll see how it dries, as I said. Okay. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Make sure you click that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the, the bell for notifications. Don't forget to look in the description box for all the links to PayPal, my Amazon store, my Amazon wish list, all that stuff. And wow, that looks really 3D. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Okay, and I hope you all have a great day. Happy pouring.